Greetings to our administrators, faculty, staff, students, alumni, and everyone out there so supporting our HLSCC family. We are so happy that you could join us this afternoon for a virtual student assembly. I would like to start by saying to our students how much I miss you being on campus to look out and see your faces as you sit and as you be recognized at our student assembly. The deliberate act of joining together as a community every semester is fundamental to our HLSCC experience. I always look forward to being in the same room with you and having that shared time together. It feels very strange having student assembly without you here in our auditorium. Technology though provides us with the ability to remain connected during the global pandemic. But I am eager for us to be together again right here on campus when it is safe to do so. But since this all begun, our understanding of the word community has evolved to encompass this shifting reality and reaffirms for all of us that HLSCC is not bounded by geography. HLSCC lives within each of us and forms around us no matter the distance between us. During this afternoon session, we will be recognizing our students on the presidents and deans list who have worked so hard during the spring 2021 semester. At this time, I would like to invite our Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Arlene Smith-Thompson, to give remarks. Good afternoon. The pleasure is mine to warmly welcome you to our Fall Student Assembly on behalf of our President, Dr. Richard Georges, the faculty and staff of the H. Levity Stout Community College. Today, we pause to recognize the outstanding work of our 34 Dean's List recipients and 14 President List recipients for Spring 2021. Of the 48 students being recognized, eight of them attained a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Of this esteemed group, 27 graduated from HLSCC in June. To all of our awardees, I extend heartfelt congratulations on jobs well done, as studying in the midst of a pandemic was certainly no easy feat. We are indeed living through an unpredictable period in the history of our world, where words like new normal have now formed part of our English lexicon. There is no doubt that studying in the new normal has forced many of you to become even more resilient, adaptable, and resourceful as you continue to navigate the remote learning environment. In the face of such unprecedented changes and challenges, you have chosen to stay the course and to never give up, even on days when you may have lacked motivation. Your award today is evidence of your commitment to excellence despite the odds. I applaud you all for understanding the value of your higher education experience as you are undoubtedly laying important building blocks on your journey to greatness. As you aspire higher, I encourage you to find some time to mentor and support your peers who may be experiencing challenges on their academic journey. The age-old adage of each one, teach one, is still a proven success tool. Here at HLSTC, we pride ourselves in being an open access institution with a range of services that are designed to support student success. One such service is our peer mentoring program that is administered through our Office of Student Affairs, headed by Ms. Andrea Hamm. 
Within higher education, mentoring is increasingly seen as a high impact strategy for promoting student success as the fundamental goals is to help students to stay in school and complete their degrees in a timely manner. I encourage you to participate in our peer mentoring program if you can. Even if you choose not to become part of our formalized structure, I encourage you to still mentor at least one of your peers, even informally, as such relationships could reap untold dividends for your futures. Also remember that co-curricular activities are great avenues for expression and to just simply de-stress. I admonish you to take advantage of the varied sporting and student club activities that are provided through our Office of Student Life, headed by Ms. Deborah Arch. These services are all designed to enrich your student experience here at HLSCC. In closing, I extend heartfelt congratulations to all of our awardees and wish you much success in your continued academic pursuits. Always remember, the sky is your limit. Thank you. We will now recognize our students on the Dean's List. To be on our Dean's List, you would have earned a grade point average of 3.40 to 3.74. Students on the Dean's List for full-time recognition would have earned 12 or more credits, and students for the part-time recognition would have earned 6 to 11 credits. Our recipients are Leslie Barker, Kishan Carey, Riley Christopher, Destiny Hodge, Rohani Hippolyte, Chigozi Igwibiki, Kelani Isaacs, Ibrahim Maduru, Ajale Malone, Sonia Musgrave, Nicholas Passard, Deborah Smith, Cherise Todman, Karen Vanterpool, Ebony Warren, Shonari Winter. Students being recognized on our Dean's List who are not enrolled this semester are Kimona Alfonso, Lavana Barry, Pooja Barat, Ricardo Shiverton, Shaquille Christopher, Angel Cupid, Sequoia Fret, Marbelli Daniel Garcia, Jamiqua George, Renju Glasgow, Joanna Morago, Jeffrina Morrison, Albert Tompkins, Jakisha Rigobert, Tidnisha Rima, Dre Smith, Diva Souvenir Fungfu, Aniel Wells. Raina Winter. I now invite you to listen to the upcoming announcements for the remainder of our semester. Midterm break will be October 15th. Heroes and Forefathers public holiday, October 18th. Student evaluation of faculty, October 19th to the 21st. Last day for late withdrawal, October 26th. Spring application for admission deadline for international students, October 29th. 
graduation 2022 application deadline October 29th the 1949 Great March and Restoration public holiday, November 22nd. Pre-registration for the spring 2022 semester online and face-to-face, -face, November 10th to the 23rd. Final exams, December 8th to 17th. Christmas recess, December 27th to the 31st. The Student Life Department is inviting students to practice for a volleyball team on Fridays at 4.30 and Saturdays at 8 a.m. at the Elmore Stout High School grounds. Students who are practicing on the basketball team are invited to practice on Saturday mornings from 10 to 12 at the multi-purpose gym complex in town. All students are reminded to report or to bring in your help forms to our campus nurse. And I want to invite you to the HLSCC Morant Race Series under the theme, Moving Together for the Fun of It. Our first race was held last Saturday and it was awesome. So I want to invite you to come out and support the upcoming races. 9th October, open two mile here at Parakeeta Bay. The 30th of October, or under nine and under 11, one mile. And we will also have our elite relay exchange right here at Parakeeta Bay. Races continue on Virgin Gorda with the race for a cause in honor of our dearly departed Miss Vanessa Reimer. 13th of November, the Vanessa Reimer Memorial Diabetes Awareness Walk and Run will take place. Registration for the races is at 6.30. The races start sharp at 7 a.m. Hope to see you there. All students who are required to update their immigration status, please note that the HLSCC letters were delivered to the immigration department. Kindly ensure that you are able to present your courses schedule along with your bill before visiting the immigration department. Students are then required to submit stamped passports to the registry on or before September 30th. We will now recognize our students on the president's list. To be on our president's list, you would have had to earn a grade point average of 3.75 to 4.00. Students who are on the president's list full-time would have earned 12 or more credits, and students on the president's list part-time would have earned six to 11 credits. Our recipients on our president's list are the Mara Calist Perfect 4.0, Zakila Fret, Janina Lloyd, Carissa Richards, Charlie Stanislas Perfect 4.0. Our students on the president's list who are not enrolled with us this semester are Kevin A. Time, William Bridgewater, Perfect 4.0, Jordan Dawson, who earned the most credits last semester, a total of 20, Perfect 4.0, Tariq Foy, Shima Molyneux, Perfect 4.0, Alexia Penn, Sabrina Stewart, Perfect 4.0. Daniel Stoll, Perfect 4.0. Nelda Vanderpool, Perfect 4.0. In time, we will emerge from this pandemic. Let us do so with renewed commitment to the mission of our institution 
with an even stronger feeling of community and commitment to each other and with even greater determination to lead lives of purpose and meaning. On behalf of the college's Board of Governors, our President, Dr. Richard Georges, our Vice Presidents, our Administrators, Faculty, and Staff, we are happy that you could be with us this afternoon for another student assembly. Please enjoy the rest of your day.